Welcome to Insider Medicine In-Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. A new report published in the New England Journal of Medicine finds that exposing children with egg allergies to very small doses of eggs over an extended period of time may reduce or even eliminate their allergic reactions. Here are some symptoms of food allergies. Skin symptoms including hives, angioedema, and itchy red rashes. Respiratory symptoms including cough, wheezing, and throat swelling. And GI symptoms including severe abdominal pain with vomiting or diarrhea. Researchers from the University of North Carolina studied 55 children who were allergic to eggs, randomizing 40 to oral immunotherapy and 15 to placebo for 10 months. The oral immunotherapy consisted of very small daily amounts of powdered egg whites, with the amount gradually increasing every two weeks. Children were followed for up to three years, periodically taking food challenges to assess their sensitivity. After 10 months, 55% of children taking oral immunotherapy were able to eat 5 grams of egg white, passing their food challenge, compared to none of those taking placebo. After 22 months, 75% of children in the oral immunotherapy group passed a food challenge of 10 grams of egg white. To test if this newfound tolerance would take, researchers then told the children who passed the second test to avoid eating eggs altogether for four to six weeks, afterwards allowing the children to resume eating eggs. Results showed that 28% of these children were able to eat eggs with no symptoms at all. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Wesley Burks, principal investigator of this study, who offered some further insight. The main two messages are that the study shows that we can work with older egg allergic children and with the process that was developed that a, about a third of children treated after two years were able to put eggs back in their diet and eat them without any allergic symptoms. So that helps us that we know in the future that a, a treatment can be developed. But really the other message is that this is really the middle step in a three-step process that gets something actually into the clinic that the next series of studies need to be aimed at understanding the safety better, understanding how long the treatment needs to take place, and then more specifically about which patients would be better suited than others. So it's really not ready to be done yet. We literally started at one ten thousandth of an egg, and that's something that's really not practical and could easily cause too many allergic reactions if done inappropriately. Today's research demonstrates that sensitizing children with food allergies to food they are allergic to has potential to reduce or even eliminate their allergic reactions. The authors emphasize, however, that this testing was done in a very controlled setting and with a very small amount of eggs and should not be attempted at home. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.